Hello, faith leader, and welcome to Break Time. Today, again, we're in Psalm 15.3. We're talking about the characteristics of those who dwell in this sacred space where God has created them to be. Whose tongue is, was on Monday, whose tongue utters no slander, who does no wrong to a neighbor, and casts no slur on others. Ah, I love it, who casts no slur on others. That means, you know, if you could imagine having guards set upon your mouth, you know, and the only things that come out of your mouth are going to be words that are going to empower those that are hearing. You know, even even this little phrase that we put behind so much of what we say that says, I'm only kidding, I'm only kidding. But you know, once those words are out and you hear them, it's something inside of every single one of us try is taking them apart. You know, we're, it's just the way we were created because words were used in the creation. And so words to me are like the most, one of the most valuable assets that God has given to us to be used inside this world. And so how are you using your words? Do you cut down others? And then all of a sudden you look back, oh, I'm just kidding. I was just joking, you know? And then if you ever walked away from a conversation when somebody said that to you feeling, Hmm, I wonder if they were really kidding. You know, and, and so we pass it off as no big deal, but come on, let's be real. Words hurt, words harm, words. So why don't, why do, why do we do that? So imagine yourself being in this space with God, no matter where you are and allowing your words to be words that, that God can use that can actually strengthen the character of those around you. Don't cast curses on other people. You know, if you see a character flaw in somebody, why would you in the world try to try to target in on that and help them to see it? I mean, t just to put that curse on them. We all have character flaws, but why do we, why do we look at each other and, you know, make fun of those weak places in each other? I think it makes us feel better in some ways. So why do we, let's use these words to look at each other and think, man, what, what is it about that person that's going to change the world? You know, what, maybe you see things that are negative. Those are easy things to see. But what is it about the people that God, your family members, your children, your spouse, your, you know, your peers, your friends, you know, the people at Walmart, the people at the grocery store, the people, wherever you're at, look at them and, and take some time seriously. I'm serious about this because scripture talks about the tongue over and over and over and, and man, use it, use it as it, as it to strengthen the character of those around you. And you know what? You're going to be an influence if you do, because you're, if, especially if you're one that's in the habit of cutting others down and all of a sudden now you're using it to lift others up, something different's going to happen. The atmosphere is going to change and they're going to be encouraged by you and strengthened by you. Wouldn't you want that to be what's known? Have a blessed day.